Hey everybody, this is Lisa. Okay, it is time for another Hump Day Handmade. Um, what that is, is a group of us ladies come on every last Wednesday of the month to share with you a project that you can create without having a um, die cutting machine or an electric machine as far as a Cricut or a Silhouette. So, um, I will have all of the other ladies in the description box and I will share with you what I created. Now, I created this box. Um, I'm going to hold it like this because it's still a little um, wet. I have not put the centers of my flowers. So, I mean, it's not going to stay like that, but <laughs> for the life of me, I cannot find them right now. So, I will have little gold um filigree centers for these flowers um so what this is is just a box now this box is totally inspired by denise denise is solo crafts here on youtube she has a tutorial not for this box but hers was a different size but the um, inspiration totally comes from her and i will have her channel linked in the description box so, um, I'll actually, yeah, I'll have her channel. This, we, this is two totally different size boxes from what she had. I'm going to carefully open this up because I have Velcro. I don't know if that bow is completely dry. Um, but it opens up like this. And, um, what is in here is I have this here. This is a, um, I don't know, I really don't know the technical name of it, but it is, um, holds, it's got a whole bunch of compartments. It's a little case. So I have sequins in here. I am gifting this to someone. So, and this is the little containers. Now I got these from Amazon. And I will link that um, below, okay? If you are interested. I mean, you don't have to put sequins. I mean, you could put anything. Um, little uh, cabochons, resin pieces, bling, anything. But it's uh, 28 um, little compartments. So that is what I created this around. So I actually created this box around this, okay? Y'all excuse my area. This is my workstation, and um, we're just going to go with it, okay? So this is the inside, okay? And it fits in there perfect. So... And I even can keep the wrapper on it. Because <laughs> when you get them, they come individually wrapped. And I think you get six in a pack. So you get six of those in a pack for like 12 bucks, I think. So I left my little flaps on because I like for it to have the finished look on the outside. And then you just close it up like this. You can use magnets um, or Velcro. Of course... I always forget to put my magnets before I do my layering pieces. And that is it. And I will finish these flowers up. And I just layered it all the way around except for the bottom. And I'm trying to be careful because I don't know how much of this is totally dry. And I layered the top. It can stand. You know, you can do it sideways or you can just lay it down. So I am going to give you the measurements for this box. Well, actually, we're going to score one together. So we're going to do everything but, uh, you know, layer it and decorate it. So you're going to need a piece of car side. And it's one piece of paper. Of course, you need a 12 by 12. So you're going to need 11 and 3 quarters by 12 so this is 11 and 3 quarters and then the other side is going to be 12 okay so we're going to start on the 11 and 3 quarters side Let's 
see, where's my little scorn to? Where did it go? I cannot find my Martha Stewart scorn to for nothing. Okay, so on the 11 and 3 quarters inch side, you're going to score at a half an inch. Then you're going to score at 1 and 5 eighths. So find your 1 and 5 eighths mark. 1 and 5 eighths. Then you're going to score at 6 and 1 eighth. 6 and 1 eighth. Then you're going to score at 7 and a quarter. Uh oh, I think it jumps. 7 and a quarter. Okay? And that's it. Then you're going to turn it clockwise because you want your half an inch score at the top right there. Then you're going to come and you're going to score at one and one eighth. Then you're going to score at eight and one eighth. And nine and one quarter. Nine and a quarter. Okay. And I'll have I'll I'll have it wrote in the description box. And that's it. Okay. And I know it's kind of hard to see with that green, but I'm going I want to make another one of these and I want to use green as my base. Um now I layered mine twice with gold and then with the pattern. You do not have to do that. You can just layer it once. But um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this one. So what we're going to do is just we're just going to burnish all of these score lines. Okay. Okay, where is my other bone color? Okay. And I know I'm at a weird angle, but you know what? Um... This is my, this is where I do projects when I get to do projects. So all I'm doing is just scoring right now. All of the score lines. And then I'll come back and I'm going to show you where we're going to cut. Okay, so this is where we started off at, where we scored a half an inch and the one and five eighths, okay? This is the 11 and three quarter inch side. Um, so technically, this is the bottom up here. So, we're going to turn this around to where your half an inch score line is over here. And we're going to cut up. We're going to cut up these little um, notches. We're going to cut straight up. And then we can wedge that out. Now, this one, straight up. And then we're going to wedge this out. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing to this one. Straight up. Wedge it. And then this little bitty square right there, we're going to cut it completely off. So we're going to wedge there. And you can also wedge here. Okay, because that's going to be your uh, where you glue it. Okay, so this is what that is going to look like. So basically, when you put your box together, that little half an inch, that's, that's where you connect it. Okay, so wherever you connect it, you always want that to be your back. Okay, so we need to cut all of this off. So, 
the side that your half an inch score is on. Okay, this is still your 11 and 3 quarters. We're going to cut these two triangles. We're going to, um, well, we're going to cut all of this. Let me get some bigger scissors. We're going to cut these two triangles and then this big um, triangle and then that triangle. So we're going to go all the way across. Okay. And then on this one, we're going to cut straight up. And then I'm going to show it to you so you can see what you have. Okay. So that's what you're going to have. Okay. So this is going to be your flap that goes over. This is upside down. When I'm holding this, this is upside down. Okay. Now we're going to cut... Straight up this line, and then we're going to wedge it. Then we're going to cut straight up this one, and then we're going to wedge it in. Okay. And then, same thing over here, straight up. Wedge it in. And then this little bitty triangle right there, we're going to cut it off. So you can wedge it on both sides. Okay. So I'm going to turn it back around because that is your top. So when you put it together... Fold these little flaps in. Okay. Fold it together. Turn it around. And this is what you have. Now, these are your two flaps right there. And then this is what comes over. So, this right here, instead of trying to um, hold these down, go in and cut that off, we're just going to fold that and glue it. Then it's going to give it a little more stability in the front. Okay? So right there, I'll show you. We're just going to just put some glue. Just It don't have to be a lot. Glue or score tape, um, whatever you have. Okay? And we're going to glue that flap down. I mean, you could cut it off if you want to. That's totally up to you. I just do it just to have some stability. And then when you put your box together, there you go. There it is. All I did was um, round my edges here. I did use a punch, but you don't have to. You can totally um, take your scissors and round it. Okay, so that is it. And let's take it out. Let's make sure it fits. Now, I'm not going to glue it because I like to layer my pieces before I put it together. But we're just going to, I'm just going to show you how that fits right down in there. Like, just like that. See? Perfect. So, I do have the link um, to these in the description box if you are interested in anything like this. I got the clear ones. They do have like a multi-color where um, the little insides are different colors like red, yellow, blue, like the rainbow color. Um, so, they do have, you know, just plain clear or um, the colored ones. And I'm pretty sure they may have different sizes. Um... I think this may have been the smallest one, but I think they got some bigger ones. But for the link that's in the description box, this box tutorial will house this perfect. So, 
And then you just, hey, just go to town and decorate it however you want to. It's all about having fun and just whatever you want to do. You can embellish it as much or as less as you want to. But I love it. You can even go as far as putting some feet on the bottom. You could um, get a hole punch and go in here and punch a little hole. And then you can hang a dangle. Or you can hang a dangle here. Um, it's totally up to you. But that is my box um, that I created to house my um, sequins that I'll, I'll be gifting. So I thank you all for watching. Make sure you go check out the other ladies. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.